Chicken wings are one of my favorite foods. Welcome to how to cook. Garlic parm, chicken wings. You'll need chicken wings, preferably more than one. Cornstarch for the coating. Unsalted butter, Peluga is my favorite. Some Parmesan cheese, pre-grated is totally okay. Up to a whole head of garlic, we'll crush this for the sauce. Salt. Pepper. Flat leaf parsley. The chicken wings anatomy is simple. You have the wing tip, the flat, the most delicious part, by and the drumette. To break down a wing, we need to dispatch the joint between the flat and the drumette, and the joint between the flat and the wing tip. There's a bit of skin in between the flat and the drumette that kind of looks like the skin in between your index finger and your thumb when you make an L shape. We'll cut into the skin flap until we hit bone and then pop the joints towards you. Look for the slight gap in between the drumette and the flat bones and cut through this gap. You should have very little resistance. For the wing tip, we're gonna locate where the joints meet and just cut straight down. Coating time, in a medium sized bowl, pour in about a half a cup of cornstarch. I use a little bit too much here. Add in a few pinches of salt. And a few twists of cracked black pepper. Give that a good mix. And finally, grab a wing and coat all sides. Tap off any excess and move it to a plate to prep for frying. To make these wings extra crispy, we'll use a technique called the double fry. The first fry will cook them through and dry out the surface of the wing which leads to a crispier wing after the second fry. Heat up a frying wheel, canola or peanut, to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Drop in a few wings to avoid overcrowding and taking the frying temperature. The number of wings you can actually fry at one time depends on how big your frying vessel is. Fry for about six to seven minutes, stirring occasionally to avoid sticking. Pull them out when done. There should be very little color on the wings at this stage. For the second fry, heat up your oil to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Drop in your wings, again, a few at a time. This time we'll fry for one to two minutes. We wanna pull these out of the oil as soon as they are golden. Transfer them to a baking sheet and place them in a warm oven until you're ready to serve. In a small saucepan, drop in three tablespoons of butter and melt that down. Add in your garlic and fry until fragrant, about 30 seconds. I went a bit off script here and added a splash of fish sauce, about a tablespoon's worth. Definitely a game changer and I highly recommend you try this out. Finally, add in your chopped parsley, give it a mix, and prepare for tossing. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how crispy these sound?
Once your wings are in a large bowl, pour in your sauce. It should seem like you don't have enough sauce. Since the sauce base is completely melted butter, less is actually more. The last thing you want is a pool of butter at the bottom of your serving dish. Once the sauce is in, toss vigorously to ensure even coating. The bigger the bowl, the easier this is, so keep that in mind. Grate some parmesan over the top and toss once again. After this, you're ready to serve. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has to be by far my best wing recipe to date, so I really hope you guys try it out. Feel free to experiment with the sauce of your choice, and remember, the key to a crispy wing is a double fry. If you liked the video, drop a like, and if you want to see more, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. See you guys soon.